Joran Vliegen grew up in the small Belgium town of Mosaic with his parents Ivo and Annick and younger brother Ware. As a young boy, Joran loved any sport with a ball. He played tennis, volleyball, soccer, and basketball. Then around age 11, he decided to focus solely on tennis. He continued to play club tennis through his high school years, but as those days neared an end, he knew he would have to make a decision, play professional tennis or attend college. In Belgium, there were no collegiate sports, and Joran's parents, both educators, believed that academics came first. Joran, however, wasn't ready to give up his sport. Then he learned about the option of college tennis in the U.S. After talking to Coach Henschen, Joran knew that becoming a student athlete was the right choice for him and that East Carolina was where he wanted to be. The standard that Joran has set athletically here will, will possibly never be touched. Um, he's lost one time in, in three years at home. He's never lost indoors. He's one of the 20 best players in the country, and if he was in any other sport, uh, an individual that's 6'4 and 20 years old that's walking out of here with a master's degree would be an instant lottery pick with his ceiling from, uh, from, from an athletic standpoint. Uh, and his growth and his leadership and his maturity would make him that much more attractive than anything else. Unfortunately, he competes in a sport where he kind of has to do that on his own, but the sky's the limit for what he can accomplish out of here once he gets out of here. Uh, but we're extremely proud of what he has accomplished uh, while he has been here. Joran sets the same high standards for himself in the classroom as he does on the tennis court. In three and a half years, he completed his undergraduate degree in business management with a 3.62 GPA. This spring, he began work on his master's in business administration. I think his ability to listen to, to the other students, sometimes in a, in a class like that, people don't want to talk, and then once they get started talking, they just want to keep talking. But he, he always would kind of sit back and, and, and listen and then really take from the other students some, some gems and then reflect on them and, and be able to ask good questions and, and really thought-provoking questions. 